Hello, everyone. 20 minutes to work on some tight shoulders. So this quick little class is specific to individuals that have been sitting too much, that have been reading too much, that have been driving too much, that have been on their phones too much. It's all about opening up the chest and trying to get these shoulder joints back on axis and get them to where they actually should be rather than where we tend to have them habitually. So what you're gonna need for class is pretty simple, a yoga bolster. We're gonna start with sitting on that now. We are not going to use the yoga bolster through class outside of sitting. So if you wanted to sit in a chair to perform the first part of this class, perfect, no problem there. But you may possibly need a yoga strap or something similar to it. If you've got good flexibility of your shoulders, you may not need it, but grab it and have it somewhere near you so that if you do need it, you will have it. All right. So have yourself in a seated position. Get a nice good base of support for me. So allow yourself on your chair bolster, whatever you're sitting on, just to go ahead and kind of rock and roll through your pelvis a couple times, kind of thing, just beginning to wake up the pelvic floor, the pelvis and the lumbar spine. So sort of mini cat cows, I guess. And then as you rock, rocked and rolled a couple of times, kind of find halfway in the middle for you. Once you've found that halfway in the middle, get that spine nice and tall, sit up nice and tall, and then allow yourself from your hips just to slightly hinge the rib cage forward so that you feel that there's weight being transmitted down through your legs. All right, so we're gonna start with just doing a gentle opening through our shoulder blades and our chest here. So take our hands, bring the hands to the center of the heart. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you inhale, Push your hands away from you and then open your hands as wide as you can get them. Then as you exhale, bring the hands back forward and then bring them back to Anjali Mudra center of the chest. You've got it. Let's do that two times. Inhaling out, fingertips away, spreading nice and wide, opening up through those shoulders. Exhaling in, hands together, thumbs coming back to the center of the chest. And finally, inhaling out, spreading nice and wide, really stretch out. And exhaling in, palms together, thumbs back to the center of the chest. You got it. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to start with a really simple easy stretch for these shoulders that you could do in sitting, even really probably while you're doing many activities, but I don't recommend doing it while you're driving, but take your right hand and place it onto your left shoulder. For most of us, when we do that, that puts our right elbow somewhere near the midline of our body. Take your left hand, bring it underneath the outside of your right shoulder. Now sitting up nice and tall, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Gently lift that elbow up so that it's at the height of the shoulder. Slowly rotate yourself a little bit to the right. It's going to make sure that what you actually stretch is your shoulder and not just rotation of your trunk. So as you turn slightly to the right, take a deep inhale here. Then as you exhale, pull that elbow towards the left shoulder. You should feel a nice, good, gentle opening through that right shoulder as you do that. Now lengthen the neck, settle the chin, make sure you've got weight through your feet. Take a slow, deep diaphragmatic breath there. And then exhaling out. Let's do it again. Nice, slow, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Beautiful, releasing that right hand down to the right thigh, repeating it on the opposite side. So take the left hand to the right shoulder. Once you have that right hand underneath, grab a hold of the bottom and the outside of that left elbow. Bring the elbow up to shoulder height, but before you start the stretch, let yourself do a little counter rotation to the left. That's gonna ensure that you're in your shoulder and you're not just twisting your trunk. Take a deep inhale here, and then as you exhale, pull that elbow towards that right shoulder. Feel that stretch in that left shoulder. Staying right here. Have that weight through those legs, sitting up tall, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, two diaphragmatic breaths. Deep inhale in and exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Wonderful. 
derotating that trunk, placing that hand down. Now, grab that yoga strap for me if you need it. Now, if you're like, you know, I think I have good enough flexibility, then don't worry about it. But just place the yoga strap up and over the right shoulder here. Not going to be really doing any stretching of our neck, but it then allows us to have that strap behind us if our triceps, our shoulders too tight, and we can't get fingertips to fingertips behind us. Then once you have that strap just laying there, take your right hand, bring it up and behind your neck so that the elbow is pointed upwards towards the ceiling. Take that left hand, bring it down and behind your back. Now, can you get your fingertips together and kind of just gently grab them? Obviously, if you cannot do that, feel, find the strap and hold onto the strap as close to fingertips to fingertips as you can find. Now, now that you have yourself in that position, let's go over the alignment cues. Check in that you've got weight through your feet, rib cages forward. Get that spine nice and tall. Lengthen the neck, settle the chin. Right elbow, have it pointed up to the ceiling. Left elbow, have it pointed straight downward towards that left hip. Now take a deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, just gently pull the left hand down. So it's like you're straightening through that left elbow. Feel that right elbow pull up a little bit higher and feel that stretch to the underarm or armpit of your right shoulder. Now holding that right there, take a deep inhale, lengthen through your body, lengthen through your neck, lengthen and settle through your chin. Then as you exhale, side bend over to the left. So now we're getting triceps, latissimus, teres, lots of good muscles through that shoulder. Holding here, two diaphragmatic breaths, deep inhale in and exhaling out. And again, nice, slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Inhaling, bring in your body up, exhaling, relaxing those shoulders down. You've got it. Switch that strap to the opposite side if you feel like you're going to need it. And then once you have that strap there, remember, it's just so that you can grab it behind you. Take that left hand, bring it up and over to the back of the neck. Take that right hand, bring it down and behind to the back of your body. Now, can you get your fingertips together? If you can, perfect. If not, search and find that yoga strap somewhere back there in the middle of your back. And then once you have that position, let's get our alignment before we add the tension to our left shoulder. So make sure you've got weight through your legs. Lift and get a nice long spine. Right elbow, have it pointed downwards. Left elbow, have it pointed upward. Lengthen the neck, settle the chin. Then take a nice deep inhale in. And as you exhale, right elbow, pull it down. Feel that left elbow being pulled up and backwards. Hold yourself right there. Take a deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, side bend over to the right. You've got it. Two diaphragmatic breaths. Take a nice, slow, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. One more time, nice, slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Beautiful, inhaling the trunk back up, exhaling, relaxing the hands down. You are done with the yoga strap. We don't need it any longer. So just gently place it somewhere beside you and bring yourself up onto your hands and knees. Now we will be using our bolster for a little bit of head support. So make sure as you're making your way to hands and knees, you've got your bolster somewhere near, near you so that you've got it for support. Once you're there, bring that yourself up into the hands and knees. Knees are hip distance, look straight behind you, check in that your feet and your ankles line up with your knees and your hips stack up with your knees. Walk those hands forward until the wrists and elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. And let's just go through a couple little cat cows here. So index fingers, point them forward. Allow yourself to take an inhale, sink the belly, lift the tailbone. Shoulder blades are back and down. Lift that chest and gaze upward. And then as you exhale, nice good stretch for the shoulder blades here. Tuck the tailbone, curl the rib cage, really stretch the shoulders away, lengthen the neck, and bring the chin towards the chest, gaze at the belly button. As you inhale, 
sink everything down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift that chest, look up to the ceiling. As you exhale, here it is guys, really push through those shoulders, stretch through those shoulder blades, tuck that tailbone under, lengthen the back of the neck, chin to chest, gaze into the belly button. Let's do one more time. Inhaling, sinking everything down, really squeeze those shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, curling everything up, really stretch through those shoulder blades. Beautiful job. Now bring yourself back into normal tabletop position. We're gonna go through thread the needle here. So we're gonna be moving our right hand first. So what I want you to do is take the right hand off the floor, inhale, bring it out to the side of your body. Then as you exhale, sweep it under and through the left. Allow the right shoulder to drop down to the floor exactly where that wrist just was. Once you have that position, lengthen the space between your ear and your shoulder, gently rotate your head to the left, rest your head downward onto the floor. Now from here, left hand, gently walk that left hand all the way up the yoga mat. Take a nice deep inhale here. Then as you exhale, Turn and twist the entire chest and rib cage onto that right upper arm. Take a nice, slow, deep inhale into your belly here. Then exhaling out. Let's do that again. Nice, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Left arm, walk it back underneath that shoulder. Take a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, push yourself back up into tabletop position. Now that you're there, allow yourself to drop yourself down onto your right side. So we're gonna do three different stretches for this right shoulder before we flip over sides and do all three on the left side. So here's what I want you to do. For those individuals that just did thread the needle, but you could not get your shoulder to the floor where your wrist was, this is actually the best stretch for you for those shoulders. So allow yourself to lay down on your right side and keep your knees bent at hip height for a moment and then line your arm up perfectly in line with your shoulder on this right side. Once you're there, the bottom leg, take your bottom leg and straighten it all the way out on the mat Gently lower the left knee to the floor. Okay, now picture where your upper arm is on that right side. I want you to imagine that what you're gonna do is take your nose to the floor, kind of like you're wiping your nose on the floor here. So left hand is gonna help you rotate towards the floor. So take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, start to rotate yourself down towards the floor. Once you get to a certain point to load your arm completely onto the floor, left leg, slide it down and let yourself fall down onto that shoulder. Now, as you're there, feel that stretch to the outside of that right shoulder. Left hand here can gently come up if you would like to. So here's your modification of thread the needle. Dropping that nose down onto the floor, take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out, beautiful. Bring that left hand back underneath that left shoulder and unrotate yourself back onto your right side. Bend both knees back up. Now, grab that bolster, have it so that you've got some support for that noggin, and rest yourself in the same position. So, thread the needle, done. Modification of thread the needle, done. Now, if both of those are no good for you, then the final one we're going to do on this right shoulder before we switch to the left is called a sleeper stretch. Everybody can do this. It's just a matter of how far you get into your stretch. So have your knees stacked on top of your hips, have your ankles lined perpendicular underneath your knees so they line up with the side of your yoga mat. Then right arm is in line with the shoulder, head have it nice and supported here. Bring the right hand up so that it is pointed downward towards those knees, your elbows at 90 degrees, but your elbow is still stacked at shoulder height. 
Then take your left hand, bring it up and over so that you have a, a hold of the top side of your forearm. In this position, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And then as you exhale, slowly lower that palm to the floor. Do not let the elbow straighten. Do not let the elbow slide down. Feel that awesome stretch in the back of that right shoulder. Holding right here. Take a nice, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. One more time, slow, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Inhaling, unrotating that right arm. Then on your exhale, bottom elbow, top hand, push yourself up into a seated position. All right, so all we have to do is all three of those things on our left side. So I'm just gonna switch myself to the opposite side of the yoga mat. You could do a 180 if you like, whichever you prefer. But what I want you to do once you're there is come up into your hands and knees, check in that your bolster's somewhere near you when you lay on your left side. As you come up onto your hands and knees, same deal, knees are hip distance apart. Feet, check in that you can see them straight behind those knees, hips, stack them up. Alignment is always king in yoga. Once you're there, wrists and elbows underneath those shoulders. Here we have it, ready to do thread the needle on the left side. So from here, left arm, inhale it, lift it all the way up in the air. And then as you exhale, sweep that hand underneath, drop that shoulder where that wrist just was. That'll keep your hips stacked on top of your knees. Once you're there, lengthen through that neck, gently rotate the head to the right. Then very slowly walk, walk, walk that right arm up your yoga mat until your elbow is straight. Finally, nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, right armpit, pulling it down towards your yoga mat, towards that left elbow. Two deep diaphragmatic breaths here. Deep, slow inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Wonderful. Taking that right hand, bringing it back underneath the shoulder. Nice deep inhale here. And then on your exhale, push yourself back up into hands and knees. Once you're back up into hands and knees, turning onto that left hip, stacking the hip and knee on top of that left hip. Don't need that bolster yet. So just drop yourself down so that you're laying onto the left shoulder. Left arm is straight out with that left shoulder. Start with the hips and knees aligned. It's a good thing to start getting into the habit of doing. And then the very first thing I want you to do as we do this modification to thread the needle is take the bottom leg and slide the bottom leg straight down your yoga mat. Right knee just gently touches at hip height on your yoga mat. Now take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, rotate your body downward like you're taking your nose to your yoga mat to wipe your nose. Once you have yourself there, then take another deep inhale and on the exhale, drop that right leg straight behind you. Allow yourself to perfectly rotate downward towards the yoga mat and then walk that right arm up towards the top of your mat. Two deep diaphragmatic breaths here. Nice deep inhale into the belly. Exhaling out, I like this one because then you get to breathe your belly into your yoga mat. Again, nice slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Bringing that right hand back underneath that shoulder, deep inhale here and then as you exhale, unrotate, both knees come back, stacking at hip height, grab that bolster and give you something to gently rest the crown of your head on or this top of your head on. Once you know that your neck is generally in a neutral resting position, get your alignment from your lower half. Left shoulder and arm are lined up perfectly. Then bend the left elbow. Once the left elbow is bent, 
Have it so that the hand is pointed downward towards the knees. Check in that your ankles are not tucked in behind you, keeping tension in your hamstrings. Meant to mention that. Line the outside of your shin bones with the outside of your mat. Then with this right hand, bring it up and over, grabbing the top side of that forearm. Take a nice deep inhale here. Then as you exhale, slowly dropping that hand towards the yoga mat. Do not let your elbow straighten. Don't let your elbow drop. Where can you get to? Holding here. Take a slow, deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time. Nice, slow, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Inhaling, unrotating the shoulder. On the exhale, bottom elbow, top hand. Push yourself back up into a seated position. Now, once you're in a seated position, we're going to do a gentle spinal twist in sitting today. So those of you that may have significant scoliosis or osteoporosis, osteopenia, you're okay, stick with me. But if you do have significant scoliosis or osteoporosis, here's what I want you to do right now. Lay down on your yoga mat. So do the exact same stretch that we're going to do, but instead of doing it with your spine weight bearing, take your spine and make it non-weight bearing as we do a gentle spinal twist. So gently, what I want you to do is take your right leg, Bring it straight out in front of you. Take your left foot and cross it on top so that the left foot is near the right knee. Those of you laying down, right, the left foot is on the right thigh. Now with the right hand, grab the outside of that left knee, left hand, bring it out to the side of your body or behind your body if you're in sitting. Take a nice deep inhale here, lengthen that spine nice and tall. Then as you exhale, use your biceps and gently pull and rotate yourself to the left. Lengthen the neck, settle the chin. Continue that rotation as your chin goes towards that left shoulder. Gaze goes back behind you as far as you can. Take a slow, deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. One more time, slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Unrotate the head first back to the center and then slowly unrotate until you're back facing forward. Left leg, bring it straight down onto the floor. Right foot, bend it up so that the ankle matches to the outside of the left knee. Left hand grabs that right knee, right hand out to the side of the body and gently behind. Take a deep inhale here and lengthen your spine. Then as you exhale, left biceps, begin that trunk rotation to the right. Lengthening the neck, settling the chin, continuing that rotation as that chin goes to the right shoulder. Gaze back as far as you can for me. Nice, slow, deep inhale here. Exhaling out. And one more time, slow, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Unrotate the head first, followed by unrotating the trunk. Gently take your legs, bring yourself in an easy pose. Those that may have laid down, take a moment to roll to your side. Gently push yourself up on an exhale. Once you have yourself in easy pose, take an opportunity here to bring your hands to the center of your heart. Take a deep inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead, palms going to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, pull those elbows back and down, pull those pinkies back, squeeze between those shoulder blades. Now keep that squeeze between the shoulder blades, unrotate your arms and bring the hands to the center of your heart. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, put a smile on your face, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you for joining me. 